Hello, welcome back. Do you guys want to do another Dollar Tree DIY? Well, if you have something to drink and you're ready to get this party started, I'll let you know what we need. So you're gonna need a styrofoam skull. If you have one laying around, maybe you already have one from last year and you're just gonna repurpose it, that's fine too. We're gonna be painting these black or whatever color you want I chose black this is my Dollar Tree paintbrush I got this from the automotive section two brushes a larger one and this one this one, I like this one super cool hypnotic Dollar Tree plate freaky eyeballs and LED emergency candles. Something along them lines. So let's uh, plug in our glue guns so they get warmed up because we're going to need them. Or whatever you're going to use to glue because you're going to be gluing the plate to his head. And um, let's get something to cover our surface. We're just going to open this up. Making it way more difficult than it needs to be. I usually do. Throw that in the garbage. And we're going to paint. Paint him up. Beauteously. So I'm going to find the one that has the least amount of black in it. Shake, shake, shake your black chalk paint. It doesn't matter if you have chalkboard paint or not. Use whatever you want. Use whatever color you want. Maybe you have small children and you don't want to use the black Halloween theme. You don't have to be traditional. You can go, uh, like I always say, you go blue theme, purple theme, like we I did last year. The purple and white theme, yeah. Let me show you one of the ob uh, objects I made. <laughs> purple and white. And we even have a spider on him, see? Or you could do this. This is an all white one. Spooky, but not too scary. All right, back to the DIY. You could do this however you want. Let's put a nice thick coat of black paint all over our skull. Get it all the way in there. You want to do the bottom? That's fine. I'm not going to waste my time on the bottom because it's going to be sitting on its bottom. And just make our way around. Now, we are going to be taking some of the top off if our plate doesn't lay flat. That is, if our plate doesn't lay flat. So, I'm just going to go ahead and paint it. And if we have to touch it up because I had to cut some off, that's fine. I don't mind. Oops, that was the bottom. Oh, well. Cohesive, right? Easiest paint job ever. Let's do his face. I mean, we don't have to get all fancy and get a ton of things out. Why drag a bunch of stuff out if we don't need it? Stay still, buddy. Stay still, little buddy. I'll get you taken care of. We'll get you all purdied up. Clean them eye sockets out. And your nose. Brush them teeth. Just like mom says. 
or grandmom. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Let's get this top done. There's so much paint on my brush that I probably have plenty. To do it. Like I'm worried to touch it. Like the black paint is going to get me. Get right in there, you guys. Don't worry about it. It washes off. There. And we'll let this beauty dry. And, um... And I'll be back. So, while this is drying, I am trying to think ahead since I have my black out, my paint, I'm trying to decide what candlestick holders I want to use. Now, I'll most likely use this, but I can change up, I could change my mind. I have, Dollar Tree sells all sorts of colorful, beautiful, amazing candles. This candle and candlestick holder is in, um, the room where I do my card of the day, my every morning card of the day. Uh, but so I have this candlestick holder. I have this tiny one. Or I have this that I made a few years ago. And I could use this, which is what I would really like to do. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to tear it apart. So I have a little bit of glue on there. No big deal. You can always uh, pull it off if it's bugging you. There. I'm not going to worry about it. I am going to paint this now. A little bit of paint. Cobwebs are free, you guys. <laughs> so just paint her up. However many coats you need. This uh, black, the chalkboard paint, covers very nice. Get the top real good. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and do that inside. I'm not really worried about the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and let them dry I'm going to go wash my hands and clean my paintbrush. As far as I know, I don't see anything else that I need to paint. Again, quick little reminder. Make sure your glue gun's plugged in and warming up. And if you're in a little bit of a hurry, take that hair dryer to these. It'll dry them up super quick. You don't have to buy a super expensive heat gun. Your hair dryer works perfect. I'll be back after I use mine. Oh, <clears throat> Whew, 
lost my voice. All right, so these may not be perfectly dry, but like I said, I used my hair dryer. I still have it out, actually. It's right here. Um, you can see it's a little damp in the eyes still. Uh, but for video purposes, we are going to continue to march because I don't think the spots that are a little bit wet are going to do any harm to our project. So getting a clean piece to work with. Got my glue gun warming up. Gotta get it out of the way. Gotta get it out of my way. I can't carry a tune in a basket. Just, you know, just letting you guys know. Alright, find something for this glue to drip on. There we go. So what I need to do first is make sure this will sit on that. So I think I need to see how it only sits on just that. I need to take that raised part off a little and smooth it out so it'll actually sit a little bit flatter. So I'm going to take um, a knife and just hopefully not mess it up and cut that. Fix it. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to use this tool. Now I know that you're like, what are you thinking? Well, I just want to, I'm just going to have it holding there so I don't cut my counter. Here's my saw. Safety first. Always put the cover back on. Now it's just styrofoam, so <laughs> plug your ears if you don't like the sound. And I'm just going to take, <laughs> this sounds so bad. I'm just going to take the tip of this cranium off. See, I this way with it raised up like that. Um, I won't cut my countertop like I said. There, let's see how this one works. Oh, much better. Let me show you. Now there is a whole flat surface I can glue on. Move that out of the way. Since that is good enough, put everything back the way it belongs. Set it out of the way. I'm going to dump this styrofoam stuff in the garbage, so I'm going to put you on pause. I'll be right back. Okay. Glue gun is warming up. Where's my glue stick? Um, they're right here. You're like, we can't see. Um, again, I like to use the Gorilla Glue sticks. This way, if you are sitting your stuff out on a covered porch or you live in a warmer environment, um, when the heat hits, hits it, it's not going to fall apart. You could use other stuff as well. Super glue, super glue gel, uh, E6000, anything like that. Whatever you know, clear caulk, whatever you know is going to work. And... Getting my glue prepared. I'm going to clear clear this off. I'm going to clear this here sticker out. Clean it off. Now, if you want, these uh, Dollar Tree stickers, they've been doing so much better. Uh, well, this is probably operator error. And so that's what I got for you. <laughs> We're not going to waste too much time because it is going to be sitting on here. I want him to, there we go. 
So I want to be able to make sure I put the center on the center. Oh, careful. Because it will melt your styrofoam. And it does not smell the greatest either. Centering it the best we can. <laughs> hold, hold. Being careful because you will feel the heat through the plate. Again, it's a hot glue gun, you guys. So because it is a skull and styrofoam, it's, it's not flat on the bottom. So if you have popsicle sticks or a lot of us have a bunch of these Jenga blocks from Dollar Tree. What I did, I hot glued a couple blocks on the bottom. Eh, they're not perfect, but he will sit flat now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint these up real quick. I'm going to touch up where... Uh, Uh, you can see through So again, I have my paint And I'm just gonna paint the paint around these Fill in anywhere where you might see the white Remember, this is underneath, but if anybody is looking, I don't want them to see the wood block. And uh, the, the hot glue, of course, you can paint over top of the hot glue. You can be as picky as you want. All right. Set him right there. Let him dry for a few minutes and we'll be right back. I'm gonna take the hair dryer to the wood blocks that we just um, painted real quick to dry him. Be right back. All right, so he is nice and dry. Let me get some of this background stuff out of the way and we'll continue. Okay, I believe the next thing I should do is put these eyeballs in there. Gosh, I hope they fit the way I want. They're going to be perfect. All right, let's hot glue these bad boys in there. So I am just going to put a huge glob of glue all over and don't forget it's styrofoam it's going to melt and stink you don't have much time so make sure that eyeball is exactly where you want it otherwise you're going to accidentally have one staring off into space <laughs> All right, let's do this one. And again, oh, where'd it go? You can always, always, always touch up if um, any of the white shows. Gosh, I hope that's in there. Yeah, it is. 
Just hold him a little bit. Just poke him in his eyes. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm going to let him sit for a minute. <laughs> So now here is my dilemma. What do I want to use? That? I mean, do I want that? Or do I want this? Oh, I don't know, you guys. That one might be too tall. Well, yeah, no, definitely not. We have to go with the black. All right, that's it. Totally no. Even if I know I haven't even tried this one yet, but no, I don't like it. Not at all. Not in the slightest. All right, back to our original plan. Oops, that one don't go in there. This one goes on there. And I'm going to hot glue it on there. Okay, so sorry about the angles. Sorry you can see all the stuff behind it. But I don't want to have to change too many things. I am going to, like I said, hot glue this to the bottom. So I'm going to put a bunch of hot glue. Again, this is Gorilla Glue. Super hot. Put it right in the center. And don't forget, you know, it's hot glue. You can you can always get this stuff apart, soaking it in hot water and gently. Even though it is Gorilla Glue, you could work it apart. If you want to repurpose and use things, I am going to leave them. I had a glue gob on my counter. I'm going to leave it just like that. Because this will be given away. Now, I'm going to use this one. So I have the batteries in. Twist it to turn it on. And I'm pretty sure that will not get hot. It's an LED, you guys. And all you have to do is, all I have to do is set it down in there. Oh, you can't even see. And if I want to turn it off, I can just pull it off, loosen the bottom, set it back, set it back in. You do get a bottom for it if you want, but it sits in there nicely. I am not going to mess with it. I do have one more idea. I'll be right back. Since we have red eyes, I'm going to paint that red. Shake, shake, shake your paint. Is this one brand new? No, it cannot be. Oh my gosh. Now I have hiccups. I'm just stuffing it in the top there. And I'm just going to... Paint it red. Doing the best I can not to get it on the candle. Good enough. Let it dry. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And you really cannot see the light uh, the red when it is on. Let me show you. So you really can't tell it's red. Let me know what you think. So let me show you what my idea is. I really think it's cool red like that. Whoops, I got a little paint on there. 
Oh, well, let's flip it around the back. Oh, there we go. All right, let me show you what I have planned. It is time to decorate the mantle again. Yep. Um, it's kind of boring, right? I agree. So we're going to decorate it with our Halloween DIYs. I'm so excited. Uh, so if you like this type of content and you cannot wait to see what we're doing next, please give my th video a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You guys are the best. I hope you have the best day ever. And I'll see you in the next video. Did I forget to say, like, comment, subscribe, share? We would love to have you in the family.